In this video, we'll use the quadratic formula in order to solve some quadratic equations. Be sure to see part two of this in order to continue the discussion. If we have an equation of the form 0 equals ax squared plus bx plus c, where a isn't 0, then the quadratic formula tells us that the solution to the equation is x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. We're going to use this formula in this video to solve a few examples. Let's first solve the equation 0 equals negative 3x squared plus 6x plus 45. I notice this has the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So it does have the proper form for applying the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula states x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. I see that a is negative 3 b is 6, c is 45, will be negative 6 plus or minus square root of 6 squared minus 4 times negative 3 times 45 all over 2 times negative 3. I first pull out the calculator to help me evaluate the value underneath the square root. So I'm just going to calculate 6 squared minus 4 times negative 3 times 45. When I do that, I find that the value underneath the radical is 576. So this simplifies to negative 6 plus or minus square root of 576 all over negative 6. I next check to see if 576 is actually a perfect square. When I pull out the calculator and try to evaluate square root of 576, I find the answer is 24. So yes, 576 is a perfect square. Lastly, I need to break this up into the two different answers. One answer is negative 6 plus 24 over negative 6. The other answer is negative 6 minus 24 over negative 6. So one answer is 18 over negative 6, so negative 3. And the other answer is negative 30 over negative 6, which is positive 5. So the solutions to this equation are x equals negative 3 and x equals 5. Now let's solve the equation 0 equals x squared minus 14x plus 49. I again note that it has the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So the quadratic formula applies. Quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And we have a is 1, b is negative 14, c is 49. Plugging them in the formula, negative b, so it's negative negative 14, plus or minus square root of the quantity negative 14 squared minus 4 times 1 times 49 all over 2 times 1. I now pull out the calculator to help me find the value of the b squared minus 4ac, the value under the radical. You get a 14 squared minus 4 times 1 times 49 is 0. And so this simplifies. Negative, negative 14 is 14 plus or minus square root of 0 all over 2. But the square root of 0 is just 0. So this simplifies to just 14 plus or minus 0 over 2, which is just 14 over 2, which is 7. There's only one answer to this equation. The solution is x equals 7. Solve the equation. 0 equals negative 2x squared minus 5x plus 8. I notice that it has the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, so the quadratic formula applies. 
the quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. We have a is negative 2, b is negative 5, and c is 8. Plugging them in the formula, we have negative negative 5 plus or minus square root of negative of quantity squared minus 4 times negative 2 times 8 all over 2 times negative 2. I find the value underneath the radical. The value underneath the radical is 89. And so this simplifies. Negative negative 5 is 5. 5 plus or minus square root of 89 all over negative 4. Now this time when you check you'll find that 89 is not a perfect square. Therefore we're not going to be able to get rid of the square root unless we're uh, happy with taking an approximation of the answer. The two exact answers our x equals 5 plus square root of 89 over negative 4 and x equals 5 minus square root of 89 over negative 4. Those are the exact answers leaving the square root inside of the answer. We can pull out the calculator and approximate those values to get decimal approximations of the numbers. Without the calculator we find that the first one approximates as negative 3.6085 and the second one approximates as 1.1085. As our last example, let's solve the equation 0 equals negative 2x squared minus 3x minus 4. Again, I see it has the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So we can use the quadratic formula x equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a where a is negative 2, b is negative 3, c is negative 4. Plugging it in, we have negative negative 3 plus or minus square root of negative 3 squared minus 4 times negative 2 times negative 4 all over 2 times negative 2. Simplifying, I first find the value underneath the radical. When I calculate negative 3 quantity squared minus 4 times negative 2 times negative 4, I get negative 23. So the number underneath the radical is negative 23. So this simplifies to 3 plus or minus square root of negative 23 all over negative 4. But notice, square root of a negative number is not a real number. It's a complex value. This tells us that the solutions to this equation are complex numbers. They are not real numbers.